studied science, trained as a lawyer and ended up as an actor. And then he went on to become perhaps the most famous star in South India. How did he do it? Well, let's see if you find out as I introduce you to the one and only Mamuti. Welcome to the program. You know, although the world knows you as Mamuti, the name your parents originally gave you is very different, isn't it? It is not actually Mamuti. They, nobody called me Mamuti before uh, I joined the college. My name is Muhammad Kuti. That's my grandfather's name I followed. So, Mamuti was the name that you gave yourself? Mamuti, you know, you just, uh, uh, you repeat very fast, Mamuti, Muhammad Kuti, Muhammad Kuti. <laughs> That's all. So, Mamuti is your it's own not a, Actually, it's not a uh, screen name which I lately put, no. It is actually my pet name or a nickname, anything. And the name that you prefer? Now, I'm known as Mamuti. <laughs> now, you're the prefer. eldest of six children. Yes. Do your siblings look up to you or do they gang up and tease you? No, they are very proud of me, naturally. Uh, I have uh, uh, two brothers and three sisters. My, all my sisters are married and settled. One of my brother is an actor, short time, I mean, small time actor in television. He is trying to pick up another actor. Both of them are producing television uh, serials and all. Now, I gather your dream of becoming an actor was born the day you saw your first film? My first movie. I don't remember which year and when I, uh, how old I was. I still remember the hero. I don't know who was, who the hero was. Might be MGR or somebody. Was uh, galloping on a horse to save the heroine. And he was wearing a tie also like you. And the tie was flying like, you know, when you uh, uh, ride the horse, it flies. That is the image I have. That day I have decided I will become a hero like that. But I don't remember that I have done a role like that yet. What was it that attracted you? The idea of riding a horse or riding away with the heroine? <laughs> no, I was a small kid. But see, uh, it's, I think the narcissist in me started growing. Then. <laughs> who started, you know, narcissist is actually a, a who falls in love with uh, his, own, his own image. So you fell in love with yourself at that moment? Might be. <laughs> <laughs> now, in fact, you got your first break in a movie very young. You were just out of school when you got a role in, and I'm probably going to mispronounce it, so forgive me, Anubhavangal Anubhavangal Palichagal. It's during, just after finishing my schooling, I was on my vacation. I just uh, was trying to, I was, as a fan, I'm an enthusiast of some movies, I was to, went to watch a shooting happening. I was I just requested my the director, Mr. Sedhu Madhavan. He is a very famous director. Can I, can I, can I get, can I try, can I, can you give me a chance to appear in this? Uh, then he said, you come. Yes, Steve, I was supposed to run with a very popular comedian. Then I, I tried to act, even then. Then he said, no, no, don't do it, don't act. <laughs> <laughs> because, because I was very, very new to the sunlight. When, and they were keeping very strong reflectors, being black and white films. And I could not open, I was keeping like this. And he said, don't, don't act. He thought I was acting because the, emo the scene was a little emotional. Then uh, when the film was released, I became a star in the local, my village. And it all literally happened by accident. By accident. If you hadn't asked him for a chance, you might never have become an actor. No, I will be, I, see, that was, uh, I mean, uh, searching for a chance to appear in a film was continuous. If he did not, if I was not able to ask him, I would have asked for the, to the next director. Sadly though, although you became a, quite a local star with the film, mm. your next film, Deva Lokam, never really Deva got Lokam finished. Deva Lokam after a long time. And it never after got finished after three days of that's shooting. That's when I start, when I, have, I was, uh, I finished my, uh, that's in my last year of my law. I was uh, uh, called to act in a film, which was uh, produced by Janashakti Films and directed by M.T. Vas Devan Nair. And that is still in the cans. It is not in Khan, it's in the cans. <laughs> <laughs> but why? What happened? What went wrong? Why did it not some get finished? Some problem, and some, which I was not very aware of it. So at this point, when the first movie had happened and the second never happened, did you begin to despair? Were you getting disheartened? No, without any delay, MTA called me again for his next film, which is called Vilkan under Sopnangal, The Dreams for Sale. And this one actually fulfilled your dream? I have started selling dreams now. Did you, did you realize when you were acting in that movie that this was going to change your career? Make no, your no, no, no. I was expecting a small, small role like henchman, yes, both kind of roles in, you know, second, uh, third, fourth villain or something. Because I was doing little, 
negative uh, uh, role with a negative shade. And when you film. discovered the actual role you had, were you surprised? Because I was presented as a full-fledged hero, which the film, even the film was not a super hit or even it, it, it was a flop actually. Another film called Mela, which is, was directed by K.G. George, one of the best directors we have in South. And uh, an actor who was with me in Milkanandu Supnangal called Srinivasan introduced me to Mr. George and he gave me a good role which I was with all potentials of a hero. I was presented that way. I was uh, supposed to sing. I was in a very adventurous kind of, uh, he was playing a circus motorbike chamber in the circus. So I was presented, presented as a hero. And from there, people started giving me, giving me smaller roles. After uh, three years in 1983, a film called, um, film directed by Mr. Vishambaran. Was, uh, again, I was playing a lawyer in that film. That film clicked. And then, in fact, the Mamuchi legend was born. I became a hero then. Even before, even the very first, first year of my career, 1981, I got the best supporting actor award from the government of Kerala. 1983, 84, 85, I got continuously with that. There came a point when, in fact, you got so many awards, <laughs> getting awards must have become boring. <laughs> no, 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 no. I love to be awarded. You know, one of the directors that you've established a very close relationship with is the director, Joshi. Many of your fans say that mm. some of your best films have happened with him. And yet I gather mm. that at the very first time when you were doing, I think, Ratri, the relationship... Ah, Ratri. The we, we had a small fight. You have. I was very busy during that time because I was shooting day and night. One night we were shooting and he, when he cried out action, I was asleep. Fast asleep? I was standing and sleeping. And what did he say? He said, pack up. When I got up, when I came to know that, I just went to his room and said, I'm sorry, I apologized to him. Now we are very close, no hassles. So this great relationship could have ended with a little accident little at the very beginning. Again. Accidents have featured in your life quite regularly, haven't yeah, they? It happens too. You know, when one looks at the graph of your career, it's a steady line climbing upwards. But there is a period no, in 85, yes, 86. No, yes, in 85, 86, I have a big decline. Yes, what happened? What went wrong? I think it was uh, during my repetition of roles, which is a family man, businessman kind of, you know, people started uh, kind of aversion towards me of uh, to the roles which I was doing. You mean... You were repeating yourself and playing safe. Same. So, from there I started reinventing me. I got a chance again with Mr. Joshi in New Delhi. That's the new start. Actually, I started as an actor from there only. You said something very interesting. That's the point when you began reinventing yourself. Reinventing means, you know, see, as an actor you have been doing something and you have to uh, rewind and see what what did you have, what have you done. Then. You can correct yourself and you can reinvent what again you can do, what else you can do, whatever you can do. So every movie that Mamuti makes has to be not just different, but another challenge. Another challenge. No, see, what I, what I feel is whenever I do a film, whenever I accept a film, and one of my very close directors like Mr. Satyan Andhikar used to say, whenever you sign Mamuti, he will not let you sleep. <laughs> He'll be keeping asking about his role always. And like that. Whenever I accept a film, I think and I believe that is my first film. And this is going to give me a chance. This is going to give me more, more me to act. But isn't that difficult to have as an attitude? Because at the back of your mind is also the fact that you are now a superstar. Yeah, superstar is another, it's another superstar means another responsibility to, to act also. Act well and you have to uh, make your producer safe also. There are two kind of responsibilities. As an actor, you have to be safe as an actor, and your producer also is safe financially. So that is the double responsibility. So looking back, that period, 85, 86, has actually been a very helpful period because Not it actually, forced it was you. really, so we call, it was a bad period for me. And I thought I will not be picking up again. You were desperate. I was desperate. You thought this was and all finished. And I was so, so humiliated badly. I can, I, I still, I, though I am feeling little happy about it, but my experiences were very bad. People were underestimating me as an actor even. So that gave me a rebirth after. Was it the sense of humiliation and the fact that people were underestimating you that really encouraged you? Do that encourage you? I don't, I don't think, but 
What I mean is, did you feel it's, I have it's to again, you are, uh, uh, you are born again from the ashes, like, you know, yes. Yeah, like, like the phoenix. phoenix. But you saw this as a challenge to turn around and prove to the world, no, Mahmoudi is not uh, finished. Mahmoudi no, will come back. No, it was only back. a trial. It was only an attempt. And that I was, you know, when you lose your confidence, you will only try to, you will only, you will only attempt. How close and that attempt was successful. How close to losing your confidence did you come during that period? Losing, finding something else to do. You really were thinking of something else? I was thinking, uh, thinking of something else. You know, it's amazing. Looking back today, 2002 on your career, you've got three national awards, five Filmfare awards, five Kerala State awards. And so and many other awards, awards, yeah, including Patma Sri. And yet in 85, 86, you yeah. were thinking of giving up acting. Yeah. It Life is, is strange, isn't it? Life is strange. Do you sometimes get surprised by your own success as an actor? Yes, of course. I I'm really, I, I am not, I am not mentally prepared to believe where I am. So that uh, I don't behave like a star. I uh, I don't feel like a star that I have this and I have that. I am no, but even when people won't believe that I am very lenient, I am very polite, I am humble. But people said I am jacketed. You're determined to just be a but normal I'm very human sincere. being. Yeah, I am very sincere to the profession, dedicated. I am passionate, I love, I am mad, I am crazy about acting. Is that the secret of your success, the passion? I don't say that, but uh, I, I cannot find the secret, but I have the passion in me. I still feel, I still, my urge to act in films, I urge to be an actor is not dying. I pray that it's not dying. It should die with me. So passion and a sense of Self-fulfillment and ambition are the really important qualities. Yes, it's, I can be, you can say, I'm not ambitious, I'm greedy. You can be, you can use that word. I'm a greedy actor, own my role. And are you satisfied or are you always hungry to do better? I'm still hungry. Still hungry means emotionally hungry. You know. So has the world really seen the full potential of Mahmoudi or is there still a lot more that you have? I, I, I'm not worried about the world whether they are looking for a potential in me but I am trying to find some potential in me. Do you think you've shown the world all that you have or is there still talent inside you that we haven't seen? If I'm very happy that if I'm very confident that people or world have seen my profession my, my potential I will not try again. I'm, I'm digging digging for the potential again. And that digging is important? Yes. Now won't you just take a break I want to come back in part two and talk about the acting talent that you keep digging to find within yourself. And I also want to talk a little bit more about yourself. We'll be back in a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back. My guest is the incredible Mamuti. Let's talk about your acting. You often say that you haven't been trained, but you've evolved as an actor. If you had been formally taught acting, would you have been a better actor? Well, I don't think uh, if I was... Uh, training is... I, I, I'm, I got trained during my pr pr profession. I, was, I have a training of 20 years now almost. That training might help me. But uh, outside training like film institute or uh, drama school, you mean? That sort of thing. I don't think that... Unless you are basically you are a born actor, no training will help you to become an actor. That's what I feel. I don't know. That passion and that you no, talked about has passion, to be there. Dedication. You know, you, you, they always say that an actor should have uh, uh, observation. I observe things, but it is not the observation. It is the inference. What you infer from your observation, will that is what the uh, what helps the actor to perform. You know, audiences always comment on the intensity of your performances. Does this mean that an actor... Intensity means, in, you, know, you know, intensity actually comes from how much you take the character deep into you, or you, how much you go into the role. That, there the intensity, the quality, I mean, the uh, rate of intensity will, be, uh, will come. But what I was going to ask you is, does this intense performance mean that when the director shouts action, you're all alone in front of the camera? Not only me, every actor is. When the director say action or the, even in the stage play, when the curtain raises, you are all alone. Even your co-artists, along, uh, those who are acting along with you, they are also in the same boat. They, there is nobody to help them. You have to decide 
what to say, what to express and what kind of emotion, where to go, where to look. There is nobody to tell you. And in the beginning, the first time it happened or the first 10, 12 times, was it a frightening moment? I was trembling inside and outside. But I was, to make, uh, to impress the director, I was trying to be stiff and confident. But your heart was beating very beating fast. Very fast. Nearly 110, 120, 100, I mean, pulse rate. So this is where self-belief and self-confidence comes in and makes the difference. Yes. You have to believe you can do it. To you do have it. to, not only you have to believe that, you have to make others believe also that you, you can do it. It's an interesting phrase you use, make others believe, because the other comment they make about your acting is that he becomes the characters he plays. That's you know, when you, there are, I mean, I, I, though I am not a method actor, if I refer to Stanislavskian method of acting or Brettian method of acting or Kathagali method or uh, our Bharat Muni method of acting, anything, any Nati Shastra, anything, but uh, there are two types of acting for an actor when he can take the character into you, into him, you know, you can, I can take my character into me or I can get into the character. Certain times you you will be limited with your physical. Physically, you won't be able to take the car or get into the role. So that physically, you have to take the character into you, because you have to make physically looking like that character. Like if we pay, play a police cop, I can fit into the role very well because I have moderately uh, well built physique. But when you do, uh, when you doing, when are you doing, when you are doing a peasant or a labor or a fisherman or an old man or a uh, handicapped man, you have to do so many other, other kind of uh, uh, formations, metamorphosis you are trying to go. So I, I prefer, mostly prefer the other, other, other way of getting into the role. Getting into the role means you have to behave like the character. You have to move, you have to speak, you have to look, you have to walk even, you have to eat and you have to breathe. So when you are acting in a movie, do you live the character for that duration? Only between action and cut. And when the cut is over, you switch I, back to being I yourself. Back to, otherwise, I lose my life. I don't want to. They say of Mahmuti, he's a great actor, but he clearly doesn't like dancing. I don't. I like. I love, but I can't. <laughs> That's my problem. Secret. I love dancing. I like it. I, I'm jealous of people. I'm envy. The, I envy them. Those who dance as well, but I can't dance. And they I'm say not confident. When I do steps, I look. Uh, both sides because I'm I'm going wrong. I'm not confident. Is it that you're not confident or that you don't like to see yourself dancing? In your mind's eye, you can't see it properly. Uh, okay. Because, you know, unless you dance on a stage, you are, I, I can't mentally get prepared that somebody's uh, dancing on the road and singing. I feel it's from the very beginning, I, I thought it was unnatural. So I was not keen on that. What about something else? Your performances are deeply intense, full of passion, and full of depiction. Are you good at comedy? Still, I, I'm, I, uh, that timing I'm not getting. But uh, I can do comedy, which is a realistic comedy. But slapstick you can't? I cannot. I do comedy, I cannot play a fool. I, play, I cannot play an idiot. No, I cannot, I, I'm not, I'm, I, for, I don't know why, why I'm not fl I'm an, uh, liberal to that kind of things. People like com my comedy, which is very serious comedy, you know, it's very serious, not black comedy, like, you know, when I play a role, if the role demands comical sequences, it happens. But I cannot play, com play comedy where I'm doing serious roles. Let's talk about some of the challenging roles that you've taken on. One of the most challenging movies you did recently was Ambedkar. You had to dub it in Hindi, you had to dub it in English, and not just simple English, but a 1950s variant of Oxford English as spoken by an Indian. Yes, that I took nearly 30 days to finish the dubbing. And I was undergoing so much of training to speak my lines. Though during the short shoot, I could not speak it properly because my mouth was fully filled with dentures to look fatter. So <laughs> I was not able to speak it properly. So after, during the dubbing, I, and I went to an English lady for the accent and somebody was sitting with me to maintain the English which I am from a south, I mean, uh, south part of India, so my English might influence. So I, I was uh, trained and trained by a man from 
So you virtually have to relearn how to speak the English language. Is that difficult? No. Recently, when I recently I heard that Brad Pitt or Johnny Depp, somebody is learning uh, English. Being an Englishman, he's an American. He's he was he's uh, learning Wales English with a tutor. So for that time, nothing. So he can do it. So <laughs> he can, you can do it. You know, many people say that it was one of your greatest performances and you won your third national award for Ambedkar. And yet I'm told you had to think long and hard before you accepted the film. Firmly, I was not, uh, I was not prepared to believe that I can look like Ambedkar. Still, I don't believe, but they made me look like. Then after I accepted, but uh, it was a real task because um, one thing I, I could myself invent it was that Nobody was alive who was this Ambedkar. This, so nobody is going to question me that you don't look like. He was not like that. Mamuti oh, was Ambedkar. Mamuti, whatever Mamuti did was Ambedkar. That was I am trying to uh, redefine and impress. But st I still remember some 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 God Bale, some who was very near, very close man of Ambedkar who was alive, still alive, I think. He was in Nagpur when I went to shoot and he came to me and met me. He was very happy and he was sitting with me normally. When I put the makeup for the Dikra scene, the last scene, he was literally crying. He said, you are him. I see Baba, uh, Baba Sahib is standing from before me. And nearly 200,000 people came for the shoot also were standing and uh, clapping and, you know, I cannot still describe the emotion they had. Tell me those that, is, that is actually, that is, that is a, uh, that is what I got. Those are rare moments for an actor when people actually who knew the real person fully believe that you are that person again. When that happens, what does it feel like? Uh, you, again, I, I don't know what is, what is it. It's not for me anyway. It is for him. But it's also a compliment to the extent to which you can become him. Yeah, uh, maybe. Well, that's very little. It, the, the, all, all compliment, all uh, uh, devotion, everything was for Ambedkar himself, not for me. It's because I am I am looking like him. That's all. So you're determined to say that that applause was for Ambedkar, not, not for, for Mahmoodi's acting. Acting, maybe. Okay, uh, if I act well, people definitely applaud. But that two hundred thousand people were not expecting Mahmoodi on the stage. They were seeing Ambedkar again. This is, I suppose, what you mean when you said earlier, "I'm determined to keep my feet on the ground and keep myself humble." No, when you say truth, you. I cannot say that you are humble. It's true. I believe so. I don't take that credit to me. Mamuji, a pleasure getting to know you. Thank you for this Thank wonderful you. interview. You.